So we're about to do something incredibly, incredibly, incredibly stupid. <laughs> I'm kind of with Dismas on this one. We we know better. I know better at this point. But I don't even get a good quirk out of this. Why am I doing this? <laughs> oh, I so yeah, we're gonna be stupid, and I'm gonna fail because of this again. The walker from beyond the stars. A shambling horror. All right, so this isn't as bad as it could be. Para still should not be up front. I never can remember its attacks, but it can bleed us. So, considering Para is the one I want to get out of here, Cooperation. we're going to put clotting powders on her, and then encore. Then move back. Probably could have uh, encored Bodica, but nonetheless, barbaric yop. Miscalculation. Because she's a carcass. Going to duelist advance, and then we're going to move Para back again. And then next turn, Para can move. Or actually, do an attack. Then we can have Sarmenti move forward. Three and two, three and three. I'm gonna get a medicinal herb off on Sarmenti so we don't have to worry about him. At least has been tended. Gonna try to bleed the shambler, getting his resistance down. Since this is gonna do four burning damage to everyone, let's do that. And everyone's where I actually want them. Nice. Uh, adrenaline Rush, healing her. Sermenti can slice off. Come on, let's get that bleed. Good man, Sermenti. Slice off, bleed, and vulnerable. No vulnerable. Okay. Measured and steady. I do need to start getting these clapper claws. So what I should probably do, duelist advance, get the attack back. Play grenade, getting the blight on them. It's nine, so that one's gonna die. We're going to yop, getting the taunt on her, and trying to weaken the shambler again. Five, six and three, three and three. All right, we probably will need to heal. Um, he's got five and five, so he'll die. The other clapper claw dies. Only need to go at the shambler. It's got 13 damage, so we just need to do a ton to it. So open vein, leading it. Um, that'll do four blight. It has 16 on it. Theoretically, I could do enough between her and Bodica. Steady yourself. And then I just need to get rid of these things. Toe to toe, get a haunt back up. Shambler dies on its turn. Let's heal Sarmenti, just in case. 6, 14. Uh, let's light one of the tentacles. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Bleeding the one Sarmenti can't get to. It dies on its next turn. Shambler goes down. Yop to heal for more. Gotta love that thing. And Sarmenti lead that thing. The also putting a vulnerable on it. So it's almost down. If we bleed it for this, it's down. Ooh. 
just to show you y'all my luck, uh, right after the frickin' shambler, I have to deal with this guy. I was hoping for some recovery. <laughs> uh, but it, it it is a mastery point, so we're gonna do it. Not gonna be happy about it, but we're gonna do it. All right, so I'm gonna start with an encore because Para's um, favorite toy, this is gonna do four burn damage to everyone it hits. And because we have Hearing Cuppa, that's extra blight and extra blight damage from the favorite toy. So that is one broken combo there. Then play grenade. So. <laughs> oh. Rip and tear. So that's 13 damage to the widow who's going to die on her turn. Let's burn them again. Taking aim on Dismas so he can crit. Toe to toe. Stress down. Pretty sure this patient dies on its turn. And 10 damage plus bleed. So that's a very dead patient. Let's razor wit. Comboing. And I'm going to heal up Dismas. Relief comes rarely in these times. One dead. Savor That's seven it. damage to him. He's not going to last much longer. Which makes me wonder. I can. Six damage will take him out. I was not expecting Bodica to do damage there. All right. And here, slice off, getting some bleeding on him. Disease off on her, I will always take. Actually gonna duelist advanced, get some attack back on Dismas, just in case. That's what he thinks about being a toy. You may outwit them yet. And then we are Magnesium Raining, getting four burn on everyone, and some Blight. Next, well, oh, not next turn, this turn, he dies. Uh, let's Yop getting his attack down. And a Taunt. Inspiring Tune getting Stress Down. Is Miss My Boy, you are taking aim to get that lovely crit. And because of one of his trinkets, that's like 15 or 20% damage. Um. Do, 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 do. You know what? Let's heal. And you're gonna need to hit to do damage there, buddy. Toto -to has a chance of doing damage, really. It's not much, though, so let's get the taunt. Dismas is going to open a vein, putting on armor break. He'll die on his turn. I'm going to encore Para. And we're just going to double plague grenade the to charge in there. He'll get a lot of blight on him. A slow dice. 14 blight. <laughs> An unavoidable end. So I know that falls off. However, it was still 14 damage to him. Um Since she really can't do anything to him right now, we're just going to get that taunt back. 
I could hit him or I could get more crits for when he's in range. Magnesium Rain getting him in range because Bodica can heal herself. Adrenaline rushing. Gotta love that. Going to fade to black, blinding him. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. Yup. Making him... I was hoping to weaken him. Alright. Bleed and critical. Razor wit comboing. Gotta love that blind. And... Noxious Blast, putting on another Blight for nine. <laughs> Jeez, Para. Razor Wit. Critting again, putting on a Bleed for six. That's 15 damage. That will put him at death door. So I'm going to let him cook with that and heal Para. I guess it won't put him at death store because of the heal, but nonetheless. All right, let's get our taunt back just in case. Now he's at death store. And Sarmenti, have fun. I was kind of forced into fighting the uh, child here. I didn't want the trophy from it, the child is a ravenous but I realized it was the last thing I could fight before the mountain, and I totally spaced on getting a trophy, so here we are. <laughs> so let's just get down to the brass tacks. I kind of realized how much I broke Para without trying to, and actually... Bodica without trying to. So this is going to get really interesting really fast. I'll show you guys uh, once the Harvest Child is in range in on Para's next turn. Any being, however horrid. So for now, we're going to toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Notice how much damage that did despite being winded. I'll give you the hint there. We're going to Warhorn. And then I'm going to take aim on Dismas. So this is kind of the weird thing that I found with uh, Para. It's conditions, I think. So memories, favorite toy, it's plus one damage dealt on all damage over time. So that means things like Noxious Blast and Plague Grenade all do plus one Blight damage, right? So Plague Grenade here would do 5 instead of 4. What that doesn't take into account is if Curing Cup also takes effect. That doesn't mean I do 8 Blight damage. That means I do 9 if it takes effect. So that's really broken, I think. Not that it took effect there, but every time I do Blight with Para, there's a chance that I do an additional 4 Blight now. <laughs> Or every time I do her uh, Magnesium Rain, there's a chance I do four Blight damage. Like what happened there. Alright, so now Dismas is going to open Vein, hitting for 15, bleeding, getting the bleeding resistance down. <laughs> We're going to Magnesium Rain, because that'll do four burning damage, which it has lower resistance to, plus the Blight. This is going to be really interesting. And unfortunately, she is uh, under Harvest Hunger, so we're going to see how this goes. Which, notice the fact that, you know, despite having two Winded, this still does 6 to 11 damage. I think that's because I have Selfish Motivation on, plus 50% damage per negative token, so despite the fact that she's a Carcass, which isn't supposed to do much damage... Uh, she's doing a lot more damage than she should. Excellent. Work. 17 with a crit. <laughs> I totally wanted a different trinket on Bodica there, but that's just what I ended up getting, and I'm like, does this actually work? Yes. Yes, it does. 
Mistimed, misdirected. Alright, so slice off. I really wonder what happens when the meat dies because I have never seen it. Plague grenade. Light. One meat dead. You know what? Just for gigglies. I've never seen this. It has to attack now, huh? Alright, so... We're, we're gonna adrenaline rush, getting the winded off. There's no more harvest hunger. Slice off, that's one armor break. Bodica can now do... 29 damage with Wicked Hack. I love this trinket. Not that she hit, but she had the potential. <laughs> That's what matters to me. And let's just get this over with. All right, here is the librarian again. Migration must be stopped. Let's see what we can get off of them. Still not used to that death armor. Let's take aim. For now, that'll be good. With Sarmenti, we're gonna encore. We got a new thing with Sarmenti. So this is gonna be fun. Now it says we have a four blight. We can get this off. It's actually five because of the thing we got in our last confession. That is gonna be great. <laughs> Alright, barbaric yop. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we do with Bodica. Let's just get those taunts flying off. We're going to play grenade again, getting more blight on him. Parrot is going to carry this entire fight. It's ridiculous. Right, he is in range to be hit by other stuff. A miscalculation, perhaps. I unfortunately dodged that, but does allow us to do us advance and hit that. So Armenti is going to go at the end of the round. That doesn't matter too much. We are going to toe-to-toe, -to -toe just get her back in range, so Dismas can do that again at the beginning of the next round. And Sarmenti is going to say screw the stress for now and slice off putting a vulnerable on him and bleeding him because the vulnerable did not hit but nonetheless and that allows us to do this advance again so our mentee can slice off again putting another bleed on and para have fun with that blight Damage around again. Dika, since you're there, you can revelry. I'll get stressed down. Alright, I would rather have Ismus attack and try to hit, if not miss, and then have Para hit. I guess she's blinded, but have a 50-50 of hitting. Yeah, that's not going to work. So just have 50-50 of hitting, and then have Dismas have a 50-50 of hitting. So let's try dual advance. He hit, so that's good. Now, Para, can you follow that one? Uh, yes, we can. All right, so Blake for 10 around. It's going to fall probably within the next rounds then because nine health then death armor two health and then death armor <laughs> it's all up to if Odika wants to do damage right now which she can because of weakness all right but dodge so death armor falls off He 
he dies next round due to bleeding. Or... Yeah, we'll, we'll do that, because it's a 100% death. And we can do Inspiring Tune to get stressed down. I love that about Death Armor. So here we are on Resentment. Sturter's avatar of the Seething Sigh. So if I remember right, I can't really target the lungs until they uh, suck up some air. But what I can do is this little combo, and I can hit the otherworldly fragment on him right now, doing some Blight and Burn. That's two death armor. I can do this. So he's got six. He resisted. Hitting him again. He got the blight. That's another six. Then I can noxious blast him. And that's more blight. So he has 19 damage over time right now. I'm going to bear trap him for some bleed. And open some veins. Oh, they're immune to buffs I should have just gone for damage. Alright, spiked bull. And wicked hack is not gonna do too much. But it was enough. <laughs> just look at that eating him apart. Alright, so now we need the back row, which I'm not sure we can do enough for. Um, so, bear trap. I might just have to eat this one. And... Do some damage to him. That's a resist. Since I can't actually do what I want there, can I just play grenade and hit it that way? Not for enough. Okay. Spiked ball. That's another bleed. So that's 24. 32 damage over time. I really should have taken um, indiscriminate science. Or not indiscriminate. Um, cause of death. Alright, so this would do 2 to 3. So that's not worth it. So let's barbaric yop. And see if we can't uh, make him do a little less damage to us. I'm going to try these death cap spores on him. And that added a blight because of Sarmenti's thing. Slice off, getting a weakness on him, or a vulnerable. More bleeding. Right, that wasn't horrible. Now he's got both. Okay. So we're going to do another death cap spore. And... I think I can do what I want between these two. So I'm gonna slice off in the main body. Bear trap him. And then we're gonna wicked slice. That did not seem to do enough. Right, plague grenade. I was doubting that was gonna hit the back row. Spiked ball. Gets rid of blinded. Haste. Oof. Carelessness. This may not be good. Of the unprepared. And now, the greatest test of all. Oh, Bodica. Now we just need Pear to live through that burn. Which I have a plan for. Alright, so we're encoring so that she doesn't take damage from the burn and still gets a turn. We're gonna battlefield medicine that still removes the burn on her, on Sarmenti, because that gets the burn off of her. May yet arrest this and she'll still get a turn before that. We're gonna bear trap the main body again. Malaise. 
measure. So that's at 24. And we're still gonna bleed this sucker. Then Para's gonna heal herself. Getting rid of the weakness. Healing for six with indiscriminate. Now climb. And Bodica can't hit for what I want there. But we might be able to weaken him for when he does a bigger hit. Ooh. I mean, we did weaken him, but maybe not for enough. Alright, six and five, he's got 44. Wish I had more heals. Um, I need to think about this for a second. So he's got one death armor. That's gonna do 22, 27. So that would put him at 15. I would need two death armors two turns after that, so I'm going to was less here. Okay, and I can't really equip mid-battle, which is unfortunate. So, do, do, do. Hera. Okay. You're fine. It's only two to three. So we're gonna toe to toe. Excellent work. Hoping that he's gonna hit her again. Which I was right. Can't encore for two more turns. So we need to get him bleeding. Puts a vulnerable on, so if Sarmenti lives through the Once again, teetering on that. I gambled too much. But there goes that run. Maybe I need to take a break from these. <laughs> oh boy. It's been a while since I fought this guy. Well, we can still finish him off this turn, I think. So that's 13. Can be brought to heal. That's gonna be death. Thor. Oh! I was not expecting him to get Bodica there. And, an and that's man. death blow because Para's stuff. Okay. Your fault was not in burying your furies. Well, lesson learned. I kind of know what to do for the future. 